Hello everyone, and welcome back to day two of the SO Lang challenge. Today we're going to be looking at very interesting language, unlike anything you've ever seen before, even though that might pretty much always be the case with these SO Langs. Today we're going to be taking a look at legit or legit, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So, uh, legit or legit is a language invented by uh, Sebastian Moore, found him on the Esolang wiki, and it's uh, pretty funny. It's a language that is written entirely in the graph of a git commit. So the language executes the graph of a git uh, repo, the commits of the git repo, which is pretty hilarious. And so let's try to go and try it out. All right, so let me quickly talk about the memory model of legit. So we got two kinds of memory in legit. It has the more traditional stack-based memory, like fourth, like we found, there's like a lot of those uh, languages. So any string literal, you have all the classical, you know, fourth operations, duplication, popping, adding, subtracting, comparing, and also has a uh, traditional tape kind of memory. So, and it has a whole set of instructions for those, and that's read, write, left, and uh, right. Sorry about that. And so write actually pops the top of the stack and read um, puts into the stack. So with read and write, the stack and the tape can communicate together. It's just a much easier way of uh, using the memory than just having a stack or just having the tape. And left and right obviously move the uh, pointer of the tape memory left or right. This execution starts at the very most recent commit and moves down. Uh, and the execution instructions are in the commit messages. So you're going to have to write it with the end in mind. So the first uh, git message has to be the quit command. So we're going to git uh, commit dash m quit. And I'm going to have to say allow empty because this is an empty repo. So um, if we look at the graph, there we go. Commit is quitting. It does use uh, for jumping to different locations in the code a git tag. And a git tag, for those of you who might be unfamiliar, are basically um, annotated commits. So sometimes in a code repo, you might have uh, certain points like okay this is version 1.2 this is the at this commit we're at version 1.2 and then after this you know we're increasing uh, the feature set or whatever and somebody wants to go find that exact commit so those are what tags are so tags annotate commits and a bit of metadata usually for versioning and stuff like that but legit uses tags in order to uh, as jumping points so you can jump to any tag uh, with the square brackets, so you just go like this, tag name, and that in your commit message, and I'll jump to that commit message and start executing instructions there, which is pretty interesting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, write the rest of the Hello World program, and then come back and explain it. All right, and here we are at the Hello World after it's been entered. We are reading in the Hello World with string literals. And string literals, basically, uh, same as in Bfond your fourth or whatever. As soon as you encounter this, you start pushing these into the stack. Okay, so that's what our stack looks like at that point. Then we duplicate. And then here we have a branch. So the way that branching works is it goes to the, uh, 
it starts numbering the branches. So this is zero, this is one. If there was another, there'd be two. So then it goes to uh, the branch, which is most closely whatever the top stack value is. So our top stack value would be the ASCII character of D, which is some number that's greater than uh, zero. It starts at zero, so we're going to go to this branch of execution. And that branch of execution says, write one and move to the left. So basically, we can see that writing and reading are tape operations. Then it says jump to reverse loop. Then reverse loop duplicates the top of the stack and does this same movement. So essentially what's happening here is it's starting at the end here because that's the most recent thing that's been pushed and uh, going to the tape area and printing it backwards. So it goes D, then it's saying L, then it's saying R, then it's saying O, because this is what the tape is going to look like while the stack is going to remain off. Finally, it's going to hit a point where um, it hits the end. When it hits the end, instead of branching to this branch of the git tree, it's going to go down here and it's going to do the same kind of movement and it's then it's going to use the put command and the put command actually pops the top stack value and writes it to standard output as a character uh, read the top of the stack and then go to the print loop uh, tag the print loop tag is uh, push one to the stack moves the head right reads it and duplicates it which basically puts whatever's on the tape onto the stack so the put can print it and it goes over and over until there's nothing on the stack then it's going to quit when it hits this branch hopefully that was easy enough and there we go wow that's amazing that is pretty neat so you can get uh, hello world just through the interpreter the interpreter also created by the creator of the language that is so cool that is very cool so it is a pretty difficult language to get a hold of but it's got a very clever little mechanic here and i and i think it's really interesting and here's one of the examples the creator of the language provides it's a rot 13 encoding and if you don't know, Route 13 is basically a really simple encryption scheme where uh, if you have an A, it just adds 13 to the letters of the alphabet. Then if you have a Z, it subtracts 13, so it kind of swaps the letters of the alphabet. Super duper simple cipher or whatever. And, it's cr and the creator of the language here has created a, a legit program a legit program uh, that does rot 13 encoding which basically just starts here at the loop and then uses the get command to get a um, character from the standard input I'm basically based on the number of the character and ASCII it chooses the proper branch to encode it finally I'd like to show that the creator has made a full uh, implementation of a different SO lang uh, which rhymes the drain suck that it, he literally implemented in legit so I think this is very impressive it's very colorful I can barely tell what's going on here but uh, pretty dope that he did all those it uh, definitely takes some getting used to especially writing the programs in backwards um, but and a great idea nonetheless so overall i would rank legit or legit as my second favorite solang so far under bfunge but above cow i just think it uh, is really original and very interesting so yeah stay tuned for the next one